the young and the restless spoilers reveal that Kyle Abbott is not shy about celebrating his recent triumph over Audra Charles, though Audra is far from conceding defeat. In her frustration, she vents to Sally Spectra about her job loss and nudges Sally towards Adam Newman, suggesting they need to be more aggressive in claiming what they deserve. As Kyle boasts about his role in Audra's dismissal, Claire Newman probes into his past fling with Audra, making it clear she's not jealous, but merely curious. Kyle reassures her that the affair is long over and that his actions at Glissade were purely business. Meanwhile, Claire reflects on past experiences with Jordan, who thrived on the downfall of others, and she worries that Kyle's recent behavior might be a similar red flag. Kyle tries to assure her that his actions were a one-off necessity, not a new behavioral pattern. Elsewhere, Sharon Newman, unable to contact Cameron Kirsten, resolves to handle her next moves alone. She orchestrates a scenario where she texts Daniel Romalotti Jr. from Heather Stevens' phone, misleading him to believe it has been found by someone intending to return it. This leads Lucy Romalotti to momentarily hope Heather might still be alive, only to be disappointed by the truth. Daniel and Lucy are lured to the athletic club under the pretense of retrieving the phone, allowing Sharon the opportunity to sneak into their apartment. There, she plants a blood-stained towel and the phone as evidence, further complicating the investigation into Heather's death. At the club, Daniel and Lucy run into Chance Chancellor, recently reinstated at the Genoa City Police Department and now leading Heather's case. When Lucy steps away, Daniel discusses the phone with Chance, who becomes suspicious about how someone could access a locked device. Phyllis Summers and her daughter Summer learn from Daniel and Chance that the police might be on to a significant lead. This conversation occurs just as Nick Newman cautions Phyllis and Summer against being overly assertive in offering help for a memorial. The episode wraps with Sharon returning home to calm her daughter Faith, who is unsettled by her mother's late-night activities and the recent tragic events. Sharon reassures Faith, but grows anxious when Faith mentions reaching out to Lucy, advising caution given the recent loss. In a private moment, Cameron reappears, commending Sharon for successfully planting the evidence. With the police potentially on the trail, Sharon plans her next steps carefully to avoid raising suspicion.